So if you don't know how to put your hair up in one of these, you're about to learn right now. Ow! That just snapped and hit me in the face. The video just turned into a mukbang. Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Sam and if you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. It would really mean a lot to me. Today I am doing a very highly requested video. I brought over my little plant here to kind of make the frame look a little bit cuter because I'm always just up against this plain white wall and you can barely see it so just enjoy this little leaf that you can see but before we get into the video i did want to give a little spoiler i'm going to be in a completely new room in a few weeks it's a long story but basically i am moving into my sister's room which is a little bit bigger than my room it has some more space i'm going to be getting new furniture i'm going to be redecorating i'm very excited and i just wanted to kind of tell you guys about that because i'm going to be making a whole room transformation video so it's gonna be very exciting stay tuned another reason why you should hit that subscribe button but now getting into the video it is officially back to school season i know it is very upsetting summer is basically over but I'm making this video to show you guys a few different heatless hairstyles that take just a few minutes that you can do before school or literally for any event that you have they're so quick and easy i do them all the time and you guys always ask me for a little tutorial so that's what i'm gonna be doing we're gonna be doing a bunch of different hairstyles i washed my hair probably like two days ago and i blew it out how i normally blow it out but it's kind of like all fallen and it just looks like not good so we need to do something with it so this first hairstyle is probably one of my favorites and i do it literally all the time i posted many pictures of me with this hairstyle and i get so many questions about it every single time i post in it so we're gonna do it together it is just two little pigtails on the top of your head i feel like they're so cute i personally like to do them leaving my bangs out because as you can see I have these really short pieces in the front but if you don't have short pieces in the front you can just kind of include them in to the pigtails like it doesn't really matter you could do it whichever way you want I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so now just pick a side to start on I'm gonna start over here and I'm gonna go right by where my ear is I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm just going to drag it up a little bit and hook just a small section of my hair into my hand and then I'm going to grab it flatten out the pieces you don't want to include so as you can see it's a very tiny little section brush out some flyaways with your hand doesn't have to be perfect and now you're gonna take just a little tiny rubber band I have these ones they look like this all I do is just tie it into a tiny little ponytail on the top of my head. If you twist the hair a little bit it makes it easier for you to like get the little piece of hair to tie keeping it as neat as you possibly can and tie it as many times as you can. So now that it's all tied, I will just tighten it like this. And so now you have your very first little pigtail. Now we're gonna just do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take my thumb, line it up with my ear and just drag upwards. This side tends to have a little bit more, but it's okay, tighten it up. And there you have it. I have these two cute little pigtails on the top of my head. This is what it looks like at all different angles. I guess especially when you leave out the two bangs, it like really ties the look together. So if you do have at least some hairs that are like shorter in the front, then leave them out. So this is officially hairstyle number one. Now that I've made several TikToks and took several pictures of this hair, we can move on to the next one. If you're not following my TikTok or my Instagram, what are you doing? Go follow right now. We can be besties. And if you comment that you came from this video, I will follow you guys back. I love becoming friends with you guys. So yeah, let's move on. The next one is super simple. All you have to do is do this exact hairstyle that we just did and then another step. So this is going to be little mini space buns. Usually people will do their entire like head up into space buns, but I don't really Really like the way that, that looks on me personally so I like to do it this way I do these tiny little pigtails up in my head and then I create space buns out of it so all I do is just take the hair twist it a little bit and then to your surprise we're gonna be wrapping it around I also just wanted to mention that I had to practice so hard to get good at doing my hair I just never had the patience for it my hair would never cooperate with me so don't get discouraged it just takes a little bit of practice and then you learn how to manage your own hair. Once you have it wrapped around into a little tiny bun, 
You just secure it again. Same way you did last time. You could be very messy with this, like I said. Then I like to like mess it up a little bit. I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. Do the other one and then we're gonna fix it with some bobby pins. But we want them to look messy, so. Actually, I feel like they came together pretty nicely. I don't even think I need bobby pins, but if you do feel like you need bobby pins and you have like thicker hair, don't be afraid to put some bobby pins in there. As you can see, I just messily did that and somehow they look acceptable to walk out of the house. This is hair number two, super cute. I actually really love the way these came out. Like I'm actually kind of proud of myself. You, you so moving on to the third hairstyle, this is the last one that you can do incorporating these tiny little pigtails. After that, we're gonna take them out, I promise. I just wanted to show you a few different variations that I do. So this last one, you just add little braids to the pigtails. I think that this look so cute. All you do is just braid the section and bring it all the way down and then secure it at the bottom. If you don't know how to braid, all you do is just split it into three and then the middle section is gonna go under and then the new metal section is gonna go under again, and then the new middle section is gonna go under again. I don't know if that makes any sense to you, but if you just watch as I'm doing it, I'm sure you will catch on and then secure it. Ugh, cute. And then you're just gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna leave this much out and I'm just gonna secure it yet again. So now you have these cute little braids on either side. Your hair is out of your face, really cute. It's different and I just like it. I vibe with it. Really make me wanna fly. Cross my heart and hope to die. This next hairstyle is another one that I do super frequently. This one is like actually like so easy to do. I'm sure you've seen it everywhere. It is just putting your hair in a little claw clip like this. I have a lot of hair, so I get the big ones. As you can see, this one's like long. I got a pack on Amazon and it comes with like other colors. Like this one's the black one. I will link them down below in my Amazon list if you guys wanna get the same ones because these are so good if you have like thick hair and your hair doesn't really stay in those clips normally. Get these ones. They're very strong and they work very well. No matter what my hair looks like, if I throw it up in this clip, it automatically looks cute and presentable and ready to go out in. So if you don't know how to put your hair up in one of these, you're about to learn right now. I've had a lot of practice and I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. You know me, I like to keep my bangs out in front. So I kind of just take them out and then tuck the rest of my hair behind my ears so that they are separated. So I have my hair gathered as if I'm gonna put it in a low ponytail. Now if you have long hair, this is the trick to get your hair in the clip. This is one way to do it because I used to just try to flip my hair like this, but then my hair would be too long and it would look like so dumb. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to twist the hair and then you wrap it around one time as if you're gonna put it in a bun, as you can tell but then you leave the rest out like this. And this part of the hair is what's gonna go in the clip. So you're gonna grab your clip like so and then secure just the top part that didn't go in the little like loop. And you just secure it, make sure it's in there and then just flip over whatever hair is left. And sometimes it looks a little messy, but I personally like the way that that looks. Like as you can see, there's like some hairs flying out from the back, but it still looks really cute. You can see the clip. Your hair is all in there and secured. I could do literally whatever I want and it stays in the clip. And especially like with these hairs out, I just feel like this is like such a cute look. Okay, and now I'm gonna show you guys another way that I put my hair up in the clip. This one may be a little hard for me to explain, but if you watch me do it, it is like kind of simple. Same thing, grab your hair behind you. I use my right hand because that's like my good hand. I don't know if it matters. All you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand and you see the space in between your pointer finger and your thumb. You're gonna kind of loop it like this and tuck the hair in between that space and grab it from underneath. And then you're going to loop your finger around and spin. Let's try one more time together. So ready? Thumb goes like this. Use your finger over here, grab the hair, almost loop it around, around, and then around again as many times as you can until it is all bunched up like this. And then secure it with the clip. 
So this is what it should look like. This version is way neater than the first one I showed you guys. So if you're going out to eat, you kind of want to like dress up your hair being in a clip. I feel like this one is the way to go because it's very like elegant and clean. So I really love this one. This one probably seemed super confusing, but I promise you with practice and the more you just continue to try and do it, you'll get the hang of it. And it's actually like very, very easy to do. So before we move on to the hairstyles where the hair is completely up, I'm going to show you one more where your hair is like kind of half up, half down or like mostly down just like some of it out of your face again i take my thumbs go to my ears just kind of grab two little sections like this and i pull it back and meet the two together as you can see the majority of the hair is down it's just those two little pieces that you picked up and i'm just gonna secure those two with another little rubber band like so tighten it so you could either leave it like this secured with a rubber band, or sometimes I like to get a little fancy with it. Pick it up like this, and then just tuck it through the loop, and it just looks kind of cooler like that if you just like pull it through. I think it looks really cute, especially from the front. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the complete updos. I used to hate wearing my hair in ponytails, but now that I do these extra cute little things to them, I actually really like the way that they look. Again, I leave my bangs out because I'm just addicted. I usually like to place my ponytails right at the top of my head, like right here. So once I have it all gathered tight how I want it, I'm just gonna secure it with a rubber band. There you go, got a nice pony. I usually don't really care about the little bumps, but if you don't like that, you can like wet your hair a little bit and like really get it nice and sleek. But for now, we're just gonna leave them because I am lazy. I'm just literally gonna take this big ponytail and braid it and that's gonna be the look. So we're gonna split it into three sections. I have very thick hair, so the braid is usually very thick, but I kind of like the way that that looks. And then secure it with a tinier brand. This one's covered in hair, ew. And there you go. I think this is so cute. I've literally been so obsessed with this. And it goes with so many different outfits. Like, I feel like it makes the outfit more, like, edgy almost. I just really like it. This next hairstyle is like that bubbly ponytail thing. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but it's kind of like little bubbles in your hair. And all you're going to need is those little tiny rubber bands. All you're going to do is take your ponytail, take a rubber band, and tie it around a little section of the ponytail. It's literally so easy. I don't do it many times. So like that. And then all you do is kind of just push it up a little bit and it like poofs up the hair, makes it into like a little bubble almost. It's very cute. And then you just keep doing that down your hair. Sam's here. How are you doing? Olivia. Sam just came to bring me food because he's a good boyfriend. Securing the bubble. You could also like play with them, and like make them as big as you want them. Ow! That just snapped and hit me in the face. That really hurt. Okay, so I only did one, two, three, four. This is how it looks. I think it looks so cool and it's so cute. Even if it's a little messy, it still looks good. Thank you. I just made I have the best boyfriend ever. He just brought me a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> so random. He just made this by himself also. I think we should do an impromptu taste test. Can't tell me why you're not. No, I really like it. Really? Mm. I made it all myself. Mm. This video just turned into a mukbang. I was so hungry. Anyways, this is the last hairstyle. It's like a cute little pony. Those are just a few heatless hairstyles that I love doing on a daily basis or like when I just don't feel like styling my hair. And all of them took me less than like five minutes. So yeah, try them out. Send me pictures if you do. I want to see how they came out. Comment down below if you want a part two because I'm always like thinking of different hairstyles to do. And I could definitely do a part two if you want to. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I am so much more active on those platforms literally every single day. So if you want to keep up with my life, Follow me on there. I'm also going to have my Amazon list linked to my bio. has literally almost every product that I use on a daily basis linked and all in one spot. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Bye!
said that this nigga fucking her. Wonder why they see me lately. Wonder why they bitch wanna date me. Wonder why they cannot escape me. Wonder why some goofy nigga on the internet richer than them with brace teeth. Fuck what you, I'm go fucking.